What's going on guys? I've got here a 2013 Dodge Dart and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the two starter relays as well as the fuse for the starter. So we're gonna locate that stuff under the hood. Now as far as removing the fuses and relays, it helps to have some pliers. But you can use, uh, you can improvise, you know. I've used nail clippers in the past. Uh, first we've gotta open this up. So there is actually a retaining tab on the left hand side. Sometimes you have to push that in or pry this out. And you can grab this little piece that sticks off of the cover and it will hinge outward like so. And then you can grab the whole thing and just yank it out. Now this vehicle actually has two relays for the starter. So there's a body control module relay starter and an engine control module uh, starter relay. So both of these are actually working together to send power to your starter when you're starting your Dodge Dart. Now as far as the fuses go, there's two that you have to be concerned with. The first one is this 20 amp fuse right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so you can check it out, see what a good fuse looks like. You can see it is unbroken, it's clean and intact. You might see it better if I put it on the battery. The role of this fuse is to provide power to the starter relays. So that's definitely necessary in order for the relays to kick on. Now the main fuse for the starter is actually right here. It's this 30 amp fuse. Power from this fuse is routed through both of the starter relays to the starter. Now as far as troubleshooting with the relays go, my favorite way to do that is to have an assistant inside the car trying to start it up. And while they're doing that, I'll actually come here and I'll tap on that relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping on the relays or wiggling them, you can get the car to start working again. Further troubleshooting beyond that, you can swap the relays around. What I would suggest is to actually remove both of the starter relays, set them aside, and then you can swap in these two relays into the positions that the starter relays were in. Now one other troubleshooting step you can do is you can provide power directly to the starter. This will bypass the relays and the ignition switch and everything. As you can see, I have a wire here hooked up to the positive side of the battery. If I take this and I touch it into this pin right here, it will cause the engine to turn over. And the car will actually start if I turn the key to the on position and leave it there. So let's go ahead and test that out real quick. So I'm not gonna start the car, I'm just gonna turn the key to the on position. Now I'm gonna provide my own power to the starter. So now we've got the engine running. So that's just a good way to test the starter directly. Make sure that everything is good with the starter and the wiring to the starter. I hope this information was helpful for you, or at the very least was a good starting point in troubleshooting the starter on your Dodge Dart. Please do let me know if you guys have any questions or any helpful advice.